North Korea is at it again, launching early this morning at North Korea time two new style, nuclear capable, short range ballistic missiles from a site on the east coast of the Korean Peninsula. These missiles are similar to those launched in May, but Fox News has learned they are more powerful, reaching a distance of some 430 miles into the Sea of Japan. And this comes after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un was seen also this week with what is claimed to be a new North Korean submarine from which ballistic missiles could be launched. North Korea does have submarines, but they're only able to launch torpedoes. Our key regional security expert tells us this is a very dangerous development. It also comes after a visit this week by National Security Advisor John Bolton to Seoul with officials there. In the past, North Korea has blasted Bolton as a warmonger. And yes, in advance of those planned U.S.-South Korean military drills, they are low-key, but North Korea has described them as a rehearsal for an invasion. Most importantly, John, it comes uh, after, and it is the first launch since the uh, meeting last month between President Trump and Kim Jong-un at the DMZ. It was hoped that could start, restart, stalled nuclear talks. In fact, the talk coming from Pyongyang has been pretty warlike. And the latest report we're seeing, uh, John, is that a planned, a hoped-for meeting between Secretary of State Pompeo and his North Korean counterpart at an Asian security conference next week. Now appears to be off. Apparently, the Pyongyang diplomat is going to be a no-show.